It's up here on eBay again, and I bought another mirror jib. <laughs> 20 quid. This week, we buy a new jib. We have a look at a new style of bird scarer. But it's mostly about removing the keel band on my Drascom Lugger Lulu. Hope you enjoy. And this looks like it's on off an older mirror. It doesn't have any numbers on it either. Um, but it's in really good condition, this cell. It doesn't really look used at all. And it's kind of that older, darker red, so it'll match the sails on the boat hopefully a little bit better. Now, this is a straight edge here, um, which like a jib tends to be. What I need to do is make this curved so it has that kind of jib, that curved flying jib. Is it leech? I think it is the leech, isn't it? And um, yeah, so we're going to attend to that another day, but I thought I'd show you. I have actually got a permanent jib, jib, jib now, or flying jib for the boat because I do think it worked quite well. I think we need to have a much, I think we need to play with it a lot more and get used to it a lot more. Um, came with jib sheets as well. Um, the jib sheet I was using on, the, on this was the actual mirror's main jib sheet with the right numbers on it. The other jib sheet I have got for the mirror is like one that I reefed, um, but I don't really think that's going to be just been sewn and hacked about a bit too much to be used on here. And I want to sell that with the boat, with the other reef mainsail anyway, should I, you know, sell mocking it. So if you watch the channel, you may be aware that one of the biggest problems we have is scaring seagulls off the boat and this season i think it is you know nesting nesting time you know uh, early on in the season we got a lot of seagull action um and it was a you know they make a right mess of the boat so i think we got a degree of success with our little lines however those lines are quite hard to sort of erect just gonna these screws have all fallen out um and they get tangled up and they are a bit of a pain what i'd like to do is remove the cds off those lines and just have the tape on them but i think what that would mean is we're going to need something more on the back of the boat here so i got one of these now this again was a freebie uh off amazon vine um and what it is well, you can see from the box look it kind of spins round now i did see a lot of these in france actually when i was on holiday let's just see if we can work this out let's just sort of put it loosely together um you can go something like that it must be that way round that must go in the middle I, I will look at the instructions properly um and I actually noticed they have some really long wire coming out with little things on the end now this one does have provision for those wires but it unfortunately doesn't come with them but what it does come with are let's just pop those on i've just filled one with screws of these so i've just got to be careful i can't use that one but let's have a look right but what it does come with are these little cups which will make it rotate now it comes with a magnet but i don't it's not going to work anyway on bronze, is it? Let's stick to that. Oh, actually, that's quite good, actually. So, what I was thinking was we need something about here. If we tied the lines off a little bit to the side here, so maybe tied them off here so they're out the way, we could actually have this on a block. So, what I'm going to build is a little block that goes into the mizzen foot that is probably about that high and then that will create a really good spot for this i'll screw it in so then i can literally pull this out stow it and drop it in now let's give it a little test there's no wind here but if we go here you can see that's quite good and look look at the it creates these little things and things like that and i think if you're a seagull and you've got that even that on its own, the seagull's not gonna like that at all. So anyway, I thought I'd show you that because 
it's kind of quite exciting isn't it um, uh, hopefully all the bits are here to do it but they're only like screws and whatnot but I think that's going to be really good addition to the boat especially when the seagulls want to nest on it Ugh. anyway there's a bolt that we can't get undone and I don't know why we can't get that undone but maybe it's been locked tight for a reason um, but we need to chop that off and then we need to measure those bolts so we know we can get um, you know stainless steel replacements for it um, I think now is the best time to do it we're right at the beginning of the winter if there's any problems you know we <laughs> we uh, we may as well have them now while the boat's not going in the water so I'm going to attempt to get this off it is bronze it should cut quite easily um, I'm going to try with my Dremel and I'm also going to try with my little multi-saw as well this is my multi-tool um, and this is the blade that, that comes with it it's like kind of a multi-blade really it does everything but I actually got these off um, Amazon for free um, so I'm going to give these a good go these are titanium designed for metal so they and they're a little bit longer actually so have a little look at that oh yeah so I'm going to use these but I've also got my trusty Dremel as well which I think will be a bit better for this job the only issue with the Dremel is these bits they cut metal really well but they're hellishly expensive um, so if you're cutting anything like steel you go through a couple of these and they're like you know two or three quid each by the time you've totted them up so whilst this is but it, this will allow me to do a really precise cut so let's give these a whirl <laughs> There's a bolt off. Let's check. That's not bad. There you go. There's a bit short. There you go. I think that's it. I think the bolt is off. Or well, the nuts, so it says off. So we need to now go under and see if we can give that an unscrew. guys here remember me from last year and I remember a lot of the guys actually and all coming to look at the boat saying how cracking she is and uh, so yeah <laughs> quite fun having a good old chat it's about an hour and uh, just made myself a cup of coffee and uh, just needed a little bit of a warm-up in the camper van temperature is dropping now you can see the band's quite loose here now and then Ah, oh, there we go. There we go. Look at that. You may you be able to see that. There you go. Now, you may be able to see one, only two of the screws are in. Uh, which is one of the faults of the lugger. Why they don't put four screws in, I don't know. But there we go. And you can see that I could probably tighten those up. Uh, just as is now but I think we need to get that out and check the bearing itself because the bearing might be actually worn anyway uh, it might be worth now we've got this off might be worth actually you know replacing the bearing anyway so yeah let's have a little look at that now so I've got my clamp here 
hopefully I can get just enough purchase on that to get access underneath. Now ideally I'd need a little bit more but I'd have to undo these or bring the boat back to do that. Um, so I'm going to give it a go like that. But that's all we're going to get at the moment. The, uh, the, gra the gravel here is horrible. I should bring a little map with me. But look, let's have a look in there. Oh, in fact, look at that. The screw has fallen out. Good grief. Look at that. Look how tiny that screw is. That's crazy. So the screw, that side has fallen out. But you can see, let me just try here. Yeah, I can get to that screw like that. So that's good news. So we need to now just do this clamp the other side. Oh, which I think I... They're going to fall out too. This screw, I think, is in a little bit better than the other one, but let's get the screwdriver up. Try and unscrew it. Yeah, this screw's in, but barely. There you go. And then I don't want to lose those screws. Where did that go? There we go. And I don't want to lose these shims either because there we go. There you go. There's a bearing. Whoop. There's a bearing out. So we can, we can go and work out now whether these bearings are worn uh, and get some new ones. The other thing I was going to do, which a lot of people do, so let me show you this. The other thing I was going to do is get a third bearing and put it on the outside here. You know, if I can get that, now ideally if you could then bolt that all the way through both bearings and bolt them on the inside, that's what a lot of people do. But if I could actually get that recessed into the wood as an extra sort of bearing, then maybe that would be a good idea. I don't know. I mean, the main thing will be getting this one replaced. There we are, two bearings lower and upper this one is definitely worn around the rim there so it probably needs replacing this one doesn't look particularly worn that to be frank but anyway we shall make these safe and we'll work out if we need some new ones right i think that is quite enough for one morning we've we spent the whole morning here it is just gone lunch time um I've put the put that in there so that should hold the mast. I'm going to put another line around here just to make sure the mast doesn't fall out. We'll put the shrouds in as well and then we'll get the cover on. And I think we yeah, we've had a good a good day today to be frank. The house we went really well. I'm really excited about that. Now we're just going to have to find some way of connecting it here securely. And we're done with that. Um, and it's given me a load of ideas about this spray deck, but we'll come on to that. The spray deck is going to be a whole big project. That uh, lugger bearing and whatnot has, and, and keel band, that went really well. That went, I'm touching so much wood here. Um, that went better than I could have ever imagined. I thought that was going to be a whole world of pain. But actually, that's gone really well. Um, and that's actually one of the big jobs that we need to get done. Hopefully, we get another day like this next week. But obviously, you know, here in the UK, um, the, the weather is only going to get worse now, really. Um, uh, I think, unfortunately, we've gone past the point of fiberglassing until next year now. Hopefully, we'll get some 14 degree weather in February, March again. But we haven't really got much to do, fiberglass-wise. Um, you know, um, the other big job, which I forgot to mention, was the 
trailer I need to sort out make sure the bearings are okay and then we've got still got a few things with these rollers we need to sort out as well so loads of stuff to do I'm looking forward to it now I think we've got that one out out the way um, I'm looking forward to it I hope you enjoyed this one I hope you enjoy the winter that's coming up um, because I know next season's going to be huge for this little boat see you soon